Well, actually, I didn't. That that, that was the the um the issue with the uh, attachment slots being offset on one side, and I just reopened it several times until Oz came in and said, "Nope." This is closed forever now. And then someone else came in and reopened it, not knowing what would happen. And then I was banned for that. That was, uh, yeah. I was quite mad about that. And I'm almost ready to do a viewer release. Maybe. We're on beta candidate four. Wait, so just six more to go before you have Maybe, to switch to Gamma. I don't know. There's a lot of crashes. Kitty, I can breathe while I talk. <laughs> there he is. Okay, wow. let's 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 get let's get started. Uh let's see. Um things are things are moving along. Uh Veer, can you give us a rundown of the viewer pipeline, please? Yeah, let's see. So we have uh you know, EEP is the is the big thing that we're trying to get out next. Um and uh people have been uh, making a, a lot of good progress on on sorting out some standing points of inconsistency this last week. Um, so we don't have a date on that yet, but it's uh, you know it should be close. We've definitely got uh, uh, a lot of things ironed out as of today that we didn't as of last week. Um, the other thing that's likely to be going out sooner than later is the um, uh, viewer update for the um, uh, premium related changes uh, as I think you guys know that's out in a out in RC now um, so it's you know it's downloadable and uh, code is grabbable and all that good stuff um, and uh, uh, I think the current plan of record is that EAP's going out first. Um, if we have to adjust, you know, with some, something else could wind up going out first. But those, I think, are the two top things on our pile. Um, we have a few other things in the works. There's a camera presets viewer that uh, I think is out as a uh, also out as an RC now that we uh, think is probably in decent shape, but it hasn't been getting as much attention lately, so that would need a little more attention before we actually promoted it. Um, but I think that's on the on the near-term list. Uh, let's see, other things. We've still got the tools update viewer. Um, that has gotten complicated a bit by the need to update a bunch of repositories and builds for all of our dozens of supporting libraries and um so we're we're hoping to get that unstuck if 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 getting this the um build and library level stuff sorted out takes long enough that it becomes an impediment to getting that one out uh you know after our kind of immediate releases then uh we will uh consider doing that as a two phase thing where uh, we we go ahead and put out the the tools update viewer first, and then uh, get all the all the final uh, you know, T's dotted and everything um, as a as a follow up pass. Uh, Camp preset's still a little crashy. Okay, that that could just be from needing a merge, or there could be specific issues there. But uh, good to know. Uh, let's see what else. I think those are the big ones. Um, as far as uh, you know, near-term stuff. You know, Mate is is continuing to crank along, um, and uh, so at some point we'll have uh, you know more Mate releases coming too. But uh, we can you know kind of fit those in wherever they're uh, wherever they're easiest.
Okay. Um, thank you. Questions about any of those? Not, in, not including rants about Eve yet? <laughs> I, I think we should save that for later. <laughs> um, so it would be it would be good if everyone was um, at least getting a good look at how to integrate the uh, doing trial integrations and so forth of the premium support changes uh, because we don't want your users to be inconvenienced or confused when we do throw the switch on that which isn't imminent, but we know how long it takes to get viewers out and get users to upgrade to them and so forth. So we want as much lead time as we can manage. Um, and as fear implied, it's, it's not the plan, but it is not inconceivable that we will switch the order of those two and put the uh, premium support out first if it if it turns out to be true that we think EEP is going to take a lot longer than that's likely to happen um, we're hoping that that won't be true um, but there you go um, so uh, more on that as we as we get further down the road um, I don't think there's any other sort of systemic news that we have to share. So the floor is open for whatever people want to bring up. Um, it is possible that there will be some circumstances where uploads will fail, Beck. Any kind of a upload because the price their viewer thinks they need to pay is not as high as what it should be or doesn't match what it should be. So uploads, and of course that includes things like saving a snapshot to inventory and so forth. So. Yeah, pretty implying... much any time you're... Sorry, go ahead. So if you're basically implying that if you were to change the upload costs of some things and then lower them for premium users, we might have a difference there? Right. Something like that. But you would never do that, right? No comment. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh no. The uh, well, I, I mean, there are changes in the in the in the works that will require people to update regularly, and if they don't, there are going to be, as usual, it will eventually get to the point where some things won't work. Um. So, let's. Uh, there's the the only alternative to that being true is for us to either maintain perfect backwards compatibility with everything we've ever done forever, um, which is obviously impossible and probably not even a good idea, uh, or stop doing anything new for Second Life, and that's absolutely not what we intend. We do intend to do new things for Second Life and keep making it better. That's now, of course, we can have uh, disagreements about whether any given thing we do is is better or not. It has been my experience that we pretty much always get all points of view on that, no matter what we do. Um, but uh, our intentions are good. It's like you read my mind 
and basically ask all the questions that I was going to ask at some point. Um, the 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 thing with EEP is that we're we think we're very 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 close, and we the project has already taken much longer than we wanted it to, much longer than we expected it to, and uh, it it doesn't keep it doesn't get any easier by making it take longer. So um, at some point, it it needs to be declared to be good enough and and move it. Move it on. Thanks to us. Um, remember, and then it could always happen. And just, just don't think about my nightmares trying to merge Eve because, oh my God. <laughs> I, I can imagine that that's a, that that's a, a, a big, difficult merge. Uh, I appreciate that. It, it, it's, it's so big, in fact, that I have to restart from scratch. Because right now the view is so broken that it doesn't make any sense trying to fix it. It's much easier to I didn't just try. I didn't try just like slamming the settings file. It, you mean it could be the settings? I, I have it up that. Don't know. There's so many things broken, and I don't know why they're breaking. They shouldn't be breaking. Well, I, I replaced like all the mo most important things, like the, the shader loading, the, even the entire. Pi I, I replaced my entire rendering pipeline. That of Eep, and it still broke. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's completely broken, and I can't fix I mean, it. When I was running the debugger, I was getting weird heap corruption, and it was upsetting me. Oh, well, uh, that, that's, that's the, the default unedited everything code for you. Never touched well, that. Well, you know, as, as, as far as that's concerned, I mean, we have in the build that's out right now, uh, which is not the latest one with uh, with the best available rendering fixes. That one's in QA. We we hope that turns out to be the best available rendering fix. But we have a hundred and eighty five thousand hours user hours on Eep on the on the Eep build that's out there, and it has a crash rate that's Almost two percent lower than the the default current default viewer. That's a big difference. So, however, whatever experience you're having when you've merged it into your code, I, I mean, I can understand how difficult that is and how um, potentially hazardous anything that big and complicated is. But you know, the the viewer we're testing and have been testing for for weeks now. Is significantly more stable than the than the than the viewer it, it that precedes it. Well, I'm not saying it's crashy. It's just the rendering is broken. I can't even enable deferred rendering without it just just bombarding me with warnings that some um, wrong index texture index cannot be bound or enabled, and just nothing works. I mean, I mean, the VR works, of course, I can start it, I can log in, I can do all stuff, but I just can't enable any shaders at all. They're completely broken. And I've tried literally well, everything. I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm running it, everything looks yeah, good I, to I know. me. I, I, I tried the eViewer, I know it works, but no? as it is merged, it's, it's completely broken, so I'll have to start from scratch, there's no other way. Unfortunately, it is a it is a huge project, and there's a ton of changes. I think there's an excess of 600 Jiras in the project now. Just generating the release notes takes like 15 minutes, <laughs> so it's I, I I do sympathize, and I'm sure getting that stuff merged in is is not going to be fun. We so really are going to try not to have projects this big in the future. Fun. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it is a massive thing for my viewer already, and I 
um, as I saw when merging all the stuff and basically replacing all the Eep, uh, well, well, my view with all of the Eep stuff, uh, and seeing the actual differences, there weren't actually that many differences. But when I think about Firestorm, which has like its own code every two lines of code, it's, <laughs> it must be hell, absolute hell for them. This is going to be really fun. I mean, I it's, it's... My, like weird eclectic users who are still on that build that I released like three years ago that are determined to use my viewer, even if the, the, the public released build is old. Uh, there are always these kind of people. Oh, lucky you. But then again, you didn't have any any big particular rendering changes. Uh, again, it's it's really just rendering related. I mean, I had like 500,000 crashes on startup, which I had to fix, and then I had to, st to fix the um, black screen that I was experiencing for some unknown reason. Uh, but apart from that, it's really just the rendering being broken. And since uh, your rendering isn't th that much different from the default rendering, I suppose there isn't much that they've broken. So, um, I mean, I, I haven't changed that much in, in the rendering pipeline, but apparently just these well, few it's, things... It's been our experience enough. that you don't have to make big changes in the rendering pipeline to cause big problems. <laughs> you know that that's part of why Eep has taken yes. so long. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> when when I um, replaced the view with Eep, I saw all the changes that I did, and I was quite surprised that there was so little difference between my view and the uh, official view. I thought that over these eight years, I would have done more than that. I mean, I've like changed so many lines of code and seeing, I mean, sometimes you change this, the same lines of code several hundred times or something, but seeing all of this just compacted in, in one big, this is the difference. And it's really just these few patches. It's, it's kind of surprising that. Just these few changes can make such a huge difference in a viewer and how it looks like and feels like. It just goes to show that the viewer or Second Life in general doesn't really need that big changes to be something much bigger and better. Well, I mean... And then yeah, I did. We we are we are contemplating all sorts of changes in the future, and EEP is one of those projects. Um, and we're trying to provide a bunch of new capabilities for people to be able to do richer environments in Second Life. That's that was the whole point. Now, yeah, well, about that. No, I you know, I, like I said, we're. It, Reasonable people can disagree about whether any given change or set of changes is actually an improvement. Uh, it is my experience that disagreements like that happen every time we do anything at all. Um, fortunately, it isn't always the same people who think that we're doing something bad, and it isn't always the same people who are thinking that we're doing something good. Yeah, but there there's, a distinct, there's a distinct difference between... Uh, some random people crying all the time. I mean, like those people that cried about the viewer 2 chat system, then cried about the viewer 2 the sidebar, and even when it was gone, they were still complaining about the sidebar, which didn't even exist anymore. I mean, it still kind of does. It's just all floaters now, but People oh, I thought keep, the I thought the really fun thing was that as soon as we took the sidebar away, then people complained that we had taken it away. So, uh, you know, there 
I, I like the sidebar. I, I mean, when it was um, completely, it, it took the problem was the sidebar was okay, but it had problems. But these problems were quickly fixed. Later down the line, you could detach it, and with some small changes to the viewer, you could permanently detach them, have it as floaters, just like it is right now. And all these problems could have been easily fixed, but people kept complaining because they, A, didn't even use the viewer and just kept complaining, or B, they just didn't know any better. But um, there are always these kind of people that just keep complaining about things. We we know that. I mean, I I know a lot of people that just keep complaining about things that don't exist anymore. But um, I think it's a huge difference when people that dive deeper into the uh, project complain about it and at least try. In my case, it's more like trying. Uh, I'm probably not really making any constructive criticism, but I'm trying to do it, uh, and I think that's that's a huge difference compared to just some random people complaining who always complain about everything. Well, if there's if there's anything specific that you want to communicate that is making your life especially difficult, we can we can pass that on to the the devs who might be able to. Yeah, that two things actually. That two things. That's a the UI, the new UI, and b the way uh, wind lights are handled. B, I, I don't know what you mean by wind lights. Uh, well, the, the presets. Previously, we had them locally. We could just load and save them, and it was semi easy to share them. I mean. Someone had to know where they were located at, and you know, sharing them was quite easy. Kind of, it's easier to do by our inventory items, of course. But the way these inventory items are implemented and, and what they actually cause, like the, the entire permission system, I think I talked about this with you already. Um, my problem with the system is that we will not be able to freely edit, save, and load, and share presets anymore as we did before, which was like 12 years or so. This is, this is going to break well, a lot think, of things. I think, that's, I think that's actually an excellent example of something that some people are going to think is a step backwards, and some people are going to think is a step forward. They're... I mean, yes, but there's already at least one day cycle that's a that's for sale on the marketplace. Well, uh, I bought one. <laughs> Just yeah, well, you, because you can I could. do a lot of things, but what I mean is, I can't just go to any place, take whatever wind light is there, and then change it to my liking and save it for later. Like when I come back and want to, you know, not redo all the things I did. Which I probably don't remember, and as we all know, you never, you will never get something exactly like you had it before. That's why we save presets, but we can't do that anymore. Instead, when someone says this preset is no mod, you can't save it anymore. I mean, I mean, you probably can't anyway because the personal lighting when uh, the personal lighting filter doesn't allow you to because there is no real option anymore to save things locally. And that's a shame. The whole permission system is a shame because. Okay, well, I, that's a that's a deep philosophical agreement and a disagreement, and one that really we feel is fundamental to the second life economy, and and so it's really not something that we're we're going to contemplate changing um, whether or not the permission system should exist. No, not the, not, not the permission system. Not the permission system in general. I'm I'm talking about applying permissions on settings on okay. on settings. Okay. Uh, I mean, we I don't think I, of them as settings. We think of them as yeah, and environments that's environments in the world. Yeah, and, but even that is a problem. They are just presets. Okay. They sh they shouldn't be handled as anything other than what they really are. They are literally just graphic presets. That's what they are. 
And okay. Permissions should not. Uh, I mean, you you could add permissions on them, of course. Um, so you can't just share the inventory item, but users should still be able to at least locally save and load these presets and edit them, of course, however they like. Whether they be think, able to. I think that people. I think that people who who believe with some justification that there's that there's a market for the skill of creating really good looking environments would disagree with you they think that they would think and I, you know obviously reasonable people can disagree that it's uh i mean that that same argument can be made about shapes yeah and yet I, we have had permissions on shape objects from the very beginning uh, yes. And, and yes, did... you can copy them. It's, you know, you can open the dialogues and get all the values and manually copy all the stuff and it, it will, it can be made to work. Um, and you but... can also just get an XML dump by enabling the one avatar debug setting, which just dumps all the XMLs yeah. of everyone in yeah. the region. Yeah. And, and that's yet, what, and yet people, and yet people buy shapes. Yeah. I, I'm not so saying why. Who am I to tell them that they're doing something wrong? Uh, well, I do, and I, I know that shapes exist, and, I, and I'm already really mad about shapes that they have this permission system. Um, but that, that's, that's, I think, something completely else. I mean, yes, they are just settings, too, in that uh, case, but let's just keep the shapes out of this. Um, I'm talking about something that has been like this. I mean, as you say, shapes have been like this for since forever, but wind lights have also been freely shareable and savable, editable, and loadable like this, just like shapes, and they should remain like this. And no really, including custom textures, is not an excuse for this. You can just exclude them. Yes, then you, you won't have the textures coming with the preset, but who cares? I, I just want this preset. Yes, I won't have the texture for the clouds or the sun or the moon or whatever unless they are transfer on, and copy and mod or whatever. That That's something completely different, but that's fixable. That's easily fixable. Just exclude them if you export them. If someone wants to export the preset and they don't have the permissions for the textures included in the preset, just tell them, hey, if you export this, it's not going to contain the textures because you don't have the permissions for that. And if the user clicks yes, it will get the normal preset just like before. What I'm saying is this could have been done so much better and without enforcing this this um, sad state of marketable items that we already have. I mean, like this whole no mod conversation is already really bad because there are things that really shouldn't have no mod. But now it's about settings simple settings and them being unmodable this is i think this is going too far what's next graphic presets that we can sell to others which doesn't allow changing them key bindings Neuron. camera you, presets Neuron, if you buy if you buy an environment setting and you uh, want to make changes to it uh, and that and that graphic setting is no mod. Then you can then you can certainly save that as a new graphic setting. Uh, no mod graphics will a no mod setting simply protects the original asset. Yeah, but what does that mean? Does it mean I can still just make my buy, own? If you buy a if you buy a no mod setting. And you want to and you want to make changes to it. You can make changes to it. Just save it. It it just forces you to save a a new copy, and the new ah, mod does not okay. carry through. So that's at least something. But that's that that's actually not what I was talking about. Maybe I didn't make that clear enough. Um, I was talking about the region wind light thing. Because as far as I understood and as far as I could see from the e-viewer, if 
someone puts up a region wind light and I were to use it, which I don't, but I'm just if if someone just, puts up a if someone puts up a, a, a uh, environment. Yes, and I the, set it to their, region wind light. If someone set, puts up an environment on their region, and they went and paid money for that for that uh, environment setting, then you you are not allowed. Then you, as a a random person wandering through, are not allowed to simply take it. See, and, and that, that's that's the problem I'm talking about. To, applying this marketable item thing brought all these issues further down the line. Just because things are sellable in this case, I mean, any item is sellable, of course. You could just sell note cards. As stupid as it sounds, you could do that. But enforcing this entire marketable item permission system onto these new items is causing exactly this. I, I can't do okay. anything to the region wind light just because some <clears throat> not so intelligent people, person, whatever, paid possibly lots of money, too much money, for simple settings. Uh, okay. Let, let me, why? Let, I, I, I appreciate your point of view, Naren, but the decision to make the, 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 environment settings into first-class objects, assets that could be traded, implied the, 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 the application of the permission system to them because permission systems all, permissions always apply to inventory items. Uh, and that's a really fundamental decision that we made a long time ago and spent a, quite a lot of time implementing and working out the various corner cases on, we are way too late in the project to consider reversing that decision. It, that's just not going to happen. Yeah, I, mean, I, know, I that's, appreciate that's that you I'm, don't like the decision. Um, I'm yeah, sure I, that... I think it that, could have been implemented a lot better because we I, already had wind lights as items. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't dispute that. But I also... Um, think that having a central way to do these things that's sh that's readily shareable by people who don't understand XML files and don't want to fool with their their file system under the viewer um, is a valuable thing, and uh, we're providing that capability along with obviously all the new things you can do with the environments and the fact that you can do them on the parcel level. Um, all of that's new, and all of that is, I think, an improvement over the way things were before. So I, I'm not saying we can disagree are, if you don't I'm think they're better. I'm not saying these aren't improvements. I'm saying that the way that Eve is handling these things could have been made much better, and in, and in a way that would have not disturbed the way photographers and machinima people would do their job, which counts me into these kind of people, just like Elizabeth just said, um, I'm concerned about A, my own users, which are just used to changing wind lights at will uh, and editing them, saving, loading, you I, know, that, that kind I of think, stuff. I think Ryder just answered that question. Yes, but this, bring, this brings me to a few more issues later. Um, what I'm saying is that this whole system could have been made exactly like it was long ago, hacked together in other views. We just had a node cut, basically, and you just write the uh, settings into that. Then you could still apply permissions, because you could share these items or not. You could make them no transfer, no mod, whatever you wish, and they could be shared or not, depending on if you have permissions while keeping the entire system as it is completely working. The only addition to the entire system would be that we then can export the presets that we previously locally saved as items too, and then, of course, easily share them or not if we don't have the permissions. We 
could also implement a system to load these item presets for regions or parcels or whatever. These things are completely not part of the problem. These are obviously improvements, but the way these presets are handled right now in EAP is just bad, outright bad. It, it just hampers, overcomplicates everything and just makes it absolutely unfun for me and probably for all my users and everyone ever who likes to do photography and machinima or generally likes to do a lot with wind light. It just makes using wind lights really unfun. And that personally really pisses me off because it could have been made a lot better. And this also plays into the A part, uh, the UI, which is really just bad. Really, really bad. The personal lighting that was, that was introduced to allow people to personalize the region wind light if they want to is still missing 80% of all the options available. Still, even though I complained about that at, like five months ago, I, why are these I, options still missing? I seem to recall that when that when that feature was was first suggested that i said okay let's do a small a small floater with a subset of the things and i put it out there onto the forums what do you want, what is important for you to be modifying in in makaba or in and photography um and i got a i got quite a bit I got some feedback and that's what I put in um yes back that, that that's I could literally repeat everything I just said for the poser thing because and it's I, it's the same story there um and but, I said I and and I remind you I asked the community what is it you want in that dialogue in that floater and I got an answer, and that's what I did. Well, then yeah, obvi you obviously didn't ask me because um, I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying that um, it is your fault. It's definitely my fault because I did not really um, show any interest in Eep early enough because I was just like, nah, I don't. I don't care what Eep is. It, it's probably gonna get good but then never really showed any interest in it when I had the chance to. I should have probably showed some interest in it much earlier. Um, but the thing is, if you had asked me about what I want in that wind drive photo, I would have told you everything, all the options, it, not just a part a, of it. It was a public well, post. Well, the the we always have to strike a balance between between how many, uh, between making things what we believe to be reasonably understandable and exposing every conceivable option that that we could and in, and in fact that's a frankly i think we've gone way too far in in many areas in in the viewer in making optional behaviors exposed either in preferences or in debug settings and if I had my way, I would eliminate easily three quarters of all the options there are in the viewer. Um, yes, some of you will be happy to hear that I won't have my way about that. Um, um, but uh, you know, no matter basically, no matter what choice we made, we were, were guaranteed to be wrong. I happen yes. to think that having all those options is itself a, a really terrible um, engineering choice. Uh, it's an abdication of uh, of making a, a good choice and making robust software. Uh, part of the reason that the that the viewer is so difficult to maintain, and it is very difficult to maintain. Um, almost any software that's as old as this is difficult to maintain. But the fact that it has a zillion options means it's essentially untestable. Uh, well, yeah, I, I have a lot more options, and Firestorm has like ten times my options. But um, right, 
And I, 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 I marvel at your ability to keep your users happy. I, I sit over here I, I'm going, happy that no, you're, that my that you're doing it. Oh, no options. Options are bad. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I, well, I know, it's a philosophical difference. At. There you go. Because sometimes, every time, like literally every time I play any game whatsoever, it doesn't matter, I see these fancy graphics menus and I think, oh, it has just like, I don't know, 10 or 12 options for all the main things and all you can do is just turn them on or maybe turn them higher quality. That's all. Super simple. Just 12 options and that's it. I want that too. But then, when I do that, I will probably get the biggest flag there ever was. Because suddenly all the options are missing. All the, the things that you need to be able to edit, like that the field, no one just wants to enable that the field and just expects it to perfectly work. You will have to fine tune it to work for whatever you're doing with it. And that's the specialty about Second Life. You can edit and change everything to exactly the way you want it. But that, that, that's, that's really not the problem here. The problem here with the personal writing uh, window is that there is no balance to strike. We had wind light photos with five tabs, three in sky and two in water. These all had options. And most of these options are missing. These options are super essential to make a preset for wind light. Because if you, if you like miss 50% of these options, you, you can't make the wind light look like you want because well, like, the, the cloud scroll is missing, the cloud size is missing, the sun size is missing, stuff like, I mean, they, these, not, not in particular, cloud these are missing. It's there. Yeah. It, I was just, Taking examples here, um, right. these aren't missing. Not the sun position isn't either, but there are definitely a lot of options missing. And as as unimportant as they may seem, they are extremely important for wind light. And it's quite sad that they still haven't been added. That that's my minor complaint about the personal lighting thing. The personal lighting is really just a bad excuse. Um, but my bigger problem with the API is that why ha why were the um, wind light editors even changed the way they are? Why couldn't we keep the uh, saving and loading of local presets? Even if we just have to change them so the presets um, use a different format so they can't be imported to prevent them from being stolen against, you know, the permission system. That, that's also uh, something I wanted to ask. Um, since since I'm not allowed to uh, export these wind lights, what if I were to add the uh, saving and loading of presets, just like it is right now, without EAP, but change the format to something that is unreadable to the importer, so you can still save and load these presets locally, just like you did before, just in another format. But you are unable to import these presets uh, into your inventory to prevent them from being stolen. Would that be okay? I, 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 I don't think I want to answer that question based on a verbal description that I don't believe I understand. So if you'll, if you'll write that up and ask the question in a rigorous, very specific way in writing, I will do my best to get you an answer. Um, I'm on vacation next week, and I will not be answering email. Um, so my vacation starts in an hour and 15 minutes. So, uh, <laughs> okay, I, I, I think I will just... And I won't answer it between vacation. now and then either. I've got a few things I, to finish before I disappear. I'll, I'll probably find a way. Maybe the forums, um, maybe open a, a thread there explaining it, or maybe a blog post or something. How I plan this to work. First, of course, I need to get the whole e situation under control. But oh, I wish you luck. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you. It, it, yeah, it, but it's really, really easy. It's literally the same that we have right now, except that these uh, okay. presets are not okay. portable. That's not it. Not verbally, please. It's 
You're not going to get an answer that way. Period. You're not. So, um, other topics. I don't want. I don't want other people to feel like they're being crowded out. Is there any other issues that anybody wants to bring up? A poser. <laughs> Let's. Let's just repeat this entire session with a poser. Oh no! <laughs> Man, I didn't get a big enough sandwich for this. <laughs> or get another one. I bought a sandwich. Because we're just getting started. I didn't. I didn't get a strong enough drink. And when we're done with talking about poses and and the poser and why the permission system is completely useless on poses uh, when there's an inward post creation system thingy, then we can start talking about the shapes that we previously mentioned and why permissions on these are pretty much useless. And then we can talk about um, what, what's it uh, sounds I think which have mod permissions, but I think you already answered that with, yeah, well, it, it came with the system. It had them automatically because they are inventory items. <laughs> and then it's maybe uh, Monday day. <laughs> Baby. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, I was, why is that not fixed yet? I'm sorry, what was that in that question? Um, what a bluesy just said, the critical bug that needs to be fixed. When you unplug the PC, you get locked out. I think that needs fixing. I mean, why can't we stay online just because the client is closed? I'm... That's a huge bug. I don't understand what you mean. Okay, when when you log you, in, you want to be able to close the viewer and still be online. Yes. Exactly. What does that That's mean exactly? Well, the bug is that we get locked out after 60 seconds of the server not getting a response. The presence. Ah. The presence. Yeah, we, we want to stay online eternally because this is Second Life, right? I mean, this is well, all Second Life. Well, don't look out. Darren, <laughs> <laughs> the PC stay goes out. in for like eight well, or nine days at a time and then go, oh, God, they, I overflowed something. They, you need to you need to understand that that having an avatar present in the world is not free. Just You're consuming server resources. Just, You're just consuming the resources of everybody in that's in view in range of you. Um, the world would be crowded with with uh, immobile, non-functional avatars if we didn't clean them up. We have to. There's no choice. But but us, we want to stay logged in forever. We want to stay well, in the second life. Make your viewer that stable and stay logged in, logged in forever. I'd love to have that That's happen. That's what I do. Well, I can. I can already stay online forever. There is until my internet goes out for some reason because, you know. And you want to be able to stay online. What does it mean to be online if there's no internet connection between you? He yeah, it doesn't his mean anything. He exist in world <laughs> when he is logged out. <laughs> Oh, I mean that's oh, sick. Sick. sorry that it, it's it's. <laughs> I, I I don't oh, know. Oh, so we want to stay on life. I, great. I mean, Good luck. I mean, I mean, I want to stay logged in in second life so I can finally log out of my first life. You know. Well, uh, you know we're we're doing our we're best to, to to get uh, to get a mobile viewer uh, when communicator app uh, <laughs> out and at least you'll be able to communicate if your phone is working and yeah, your phone system is working that. and the internet is working i have ah, so many variables no well you know uh this is this is actually the the fundamental 
technical decision that is that underlies the entire internet is so that I have a question at the base about it's that. not reliable delivery. It's best effort. Um, so with the mobile communicator, will you be still be able to be logged in on the desktop client and able to use that at the same time? No. Uh, of course not. That would be good. That that would be like Discord. It's a fundamental. It's a fundamental assumption of Second Life that an avatar is only in is only has one session at any given time. That's that. That would be a a really radical uh, change to to yeah. see. Pierre gets it. He already is. He's already making plans how to get this working. <laughs> Us, I'm, I'm really, really disappointed. I, I thought you were already working on some kind of Ready Player One virtual universe thing where we just, you know, put on these virtual reality goggles and then just, you know, do do our stuff. Damn, I thought we were almost well, there got, already. I got my goggles hanging right here. All right. Um, anything that we might be able to do anything about this week? All right. I'll see you all in two weeks after I've had a great could, vacation. Could, could you, could you poke my security bounty along with a stick? <laughs> um, I'll, I'll have a look. I, I remember that handing that off and I don't remember what happened to it and I will figure that I out. I found more and like all of your private repos were public, including oh yeah, Mike. that one, that one, yeah, you should have gotten a bounty for that one. I have not. Oh well, I will poke at that before I go on vacation. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. All right. Have fun, everybody. Lively discussion. I appreciate everybody coming. Good discussion. I got a sandwich and a strong drink, and it was good. I did not clone them, though. That would be unethical security practices. Why? You just clone cloning an object. That's fine. But I didn't clone them, Morley. Oh. Or we could clone Whirly. Now that would be unethical. No, when they were converting their uh, repos to Git, uh, Google indexed their private Bitbucket page, and all of them, all of them were public. <sighs> oh. But it is fixed now, and it is all good, and everything is right in the world. Whirly cannot. I highly doubt that. There are copy bots out there that can clone Willy, I'm pretty sure. Oh no. There is no such no. thing as we, copy we bot protection. It, just imagine if we had two Whirlies finding bugs at the same time. Ah! Uh, oh, so many bugs! That would be great. It'd be so many bugs. You would never ever see the daylight again. Oh, I was so excited. Runatai is back. I don't know. You guys are slacking. There were no bugs in the queue to triage today. I mean, what if I'm saving my eat bugs for when you release the next RC and then I can just dump a whole pile out? <laughs> then it's maintenance. That would be evil. <laughs> it's maintenance at that point. Don't make me find worse bugs. I'm very good at finding bugs. But you don't file them. You nugget me to file them. Hate with a passion. I, I have to use... file on my own. <laughs> well, well, that's what you're for, Whirly. You file them Whirly, first. Whirly, you would understand if you had to use Jira in your job, and then you don't want to stare at it for personal projects. I would. No. Just no. <laughs> You're just weird. I oh. challenge you to file bugs in our Jira. And <laughs> interact with me and our friendly QA team. 
uh, I have a bug fix. Does that count? You can have a bug fix, maybe. You know that bug with fakes on mesh where so the body and the head texture will distort while you're editing your shape? Yes. Yep. Local bakes. I fixed that. Hey, if you've got if a contribution said your fix agreement, was send it on. What's wrong with my fix besides that I was on my man period? What? I, I, I tried that fix. Didn't work for me, so I never had it, this it bug. It works. We, we, we test it. There are 400 people that says it works. Yeah, but then you had, you had a different bug. Or for some reason, I don't have this bug. But then there's a question, what is my bug? Texture addressing mode was wrong with regards to local bakes. And server bakes used a different texture addressing mode for some reason. Yeah, but that still it's, it's very weird. But that still doesn't fix it for me. So what's what's the issue with me? Why is it not working for me? But Niran, Niran, did you even have the bug? Because it only happens on the material no. body. Oh, well, uh, I don't know. Well, I don't have. I own, I could only reproduce it on like the Matreya body and the legacy bodies. Drake, I I, I don't I don't buy these trashy human bodies, so I don't know. I, I, I buy properly created and optimized content only. I, I, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. The legacy bodies make me scream with how many polygons they have. Nguyen, we are going to fix your viewer and make it fast and I will give you an auto-updater. Great. I always want an auto update. But does it does it come with a with a proper MMO launcher where you can just click update or start if you want? That is, if it allows it, it will just be grayed out all the time, <laughs> forcing the user to update at all times. Right, there's an easy repro on that. To Jira. It doesn't involve any mesh body. I pasted. I reproed it <laughs> on my mesh body when I wear my girl avatar. But you can just do it with a sphere. So. Works with a sphere. Uh -huh. The sphere, really? Wow. So the bug actually is um, server bakes. Uh, their texture addressing mode uh, is set to wrap. So uh... you know, it'll it'll look right. So the UV wraps uh local bakes are actually clamped to the edge so it breaks then ah uh, okay that makes sense it's just a kind of a state mismatch because the local legacy baking system is kind of just neglected and ignored into a corner the same thing that used to break profile images on dj on their like dj boards and stuff that old uh board. yes similar yeah Wow, similar. Wow. I'm surprised but, you still yeah. remember that. Really, the fix is like a one-liner. You need to change a. It's either a true to a false or a false true. I don't remember. I was really drunk when I figured it out. So you are walking, Jira. Uh, I I I am just a walking viewer repository.